don't really know with all the brightness if you can see this, but this is the snow cave we built. I can't even hardly see anything for the glare. Let's see if I can go from another angle. You know, I'm really supposed to let these sit for about an hour, but we let ours sit for about, oh, I don't know, 12 hours. Now we're digging the entrance to it. And basically, it's just a big heaping pile of snow. You just take a couple of snow shovels and a couple of people and just keep piling it deeper and deeper and deeper and try to keep it about like a half of a ball in shape, approximately, so it has less weak spots. Okay, now don't keep digging into it, though. If you keep digging into the structure, you got to make a hole. Don't just keep digging back and digging back farther. The farther you dig back, the more it weakens it. So you got to dig a hole to crawl into, and you're going to dig it out from the inside. And dig down real low, too, to where you hit the grass. And then what we'll do is we'll get a tarp, and then when you get a little place cleared out out there, we'll screw in a tarp, and then that way you can finish your digging on the tarp. That way you won't get wet. Got any warmer gloves? You can try these. Okay. Where'd you get these? Just in my rack in the closet. The nice thing about it is if you dig too far and make a small hole, you can patch it up with more snow. If you make a huge hole though, you might collapse it. Did you fall asleep? Here, take the camera and film inside. Point it back this way. So you can see places where it's light and places where it's dark. This is really cool. I never thought that it would work. Yeah. Nice and strong as long as you don't dig all the way through. Dig back a little farther and see if you can crawl all the way in. Can you take the camera? Here, let me give me the camera. Okay, I'm already all the way in the snow cave. Here, I'll stick my foot out just to show you. See, I'm all the way in. And the secret is, dig until you see a little bit of light showing through, and then stop, because that means there's only a couple of inches of material left. So basically, I will scooch outside, and then I will shoot back inside here. Take this, and then I'm gonna scooch out, and then you can come in. Worm crawl. <laughs> okay. Here's the inside. Not super roomy, but for one person, get you through the night, keep you alive.
I don't want to do my homework, I can Yeah. Just mom. say, Mom, I'm stuck. I can't get out. I'm crawling in my igloo and I can't get out. I'd say actually go probably, well, if you can get in that way. It's usually better on your back, but if you can squinch in. Still got a leg sticking out. The polar bear is going to grab it and eat you. There he is, all the way, almost, almost, all the way in. I'm really squished. <laughs> well, there's actually some little bit you could probably dig to the one side and to the top a little bit more, but we got the idea of what you can do with it. Now you could say you actually built an igloo that works. It would actually keep you alive through the night. And then what you do for the outside is you make a big snowball and then you just roll it in front of the entrance. If it's too windy and you lose too much heat, just roll the snowball in front of the entrance. And if you've got enough places where you can see light through it, air will actually pass through there so you won't like suffocate. It'll give you plenty of air exchange. So here it is. Let me get a backup shot here. There you go. A snow pile igloo or as some people say, a snow cave.